Hi Rosie friends, it's Julie and today I'm going to talk about a product that has finally worked for me. It's been such a long time and this product is called Bedrock Balm. So I am so happy to have actual good news to share with you this time, especially after a couple of videos ago. If you watched that, if you didn't, I'll leave a link on the screen. But uh, if you did watch, you'll know that I tried out something that looked really promising and it bombed terribly. It, it seemed, still seems to me like it was a good product. It just didn't react well with my skin at all. And it was super inflamed and really painful. It felt like somebody was slapping my face. It was stinging all the time. And that was really uncomfortable. And normally the thing that I would do after that is rest my skin, which, and that's a term that I've made up. That's not something official. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm not a skincare expert. I'm a fiction writer. So none of this is considered a recommendation. This is just my experience with products. And that product didn't work. And normally I would go back to things that are very basic, very simple, very few ingredients and rest my skin and let it recover from that. But I had received this product already in the mail and I was really keen to try it. And the whole reason that I was looking forward to this is that it is meant to be soothing and it's meant to be have healing properties and it gets rid of things like rashes and redness and stuff like that. So I was really keen to get going with this. And so I thought I'm just gonna dive right in with my horribly messed up angry, irritated face and see what happens. So that night I, I put Bedrock Balm on it and left it on overnight. Like I washed my face, I put this on the clean dry skin and then I put on my usual moisturizer for overnight, well the skin oil at the time. And the next morning it was so much more comfortable than it had been the day before. And by the next day it was pretty much back to where it normally is with no flare up left. It was perfectly comfortable. I didn't have any of the symptoms I could feel, any of those signs at all. It just was right back to my permanent redness, which is always there. Even when my skin is perfectly healthy, I always have like a little bit of pink in my cheeks from damage over the last 20 years that has nothing to do with anything. So even when my skin is perfectly, perfectly happy, it's just, it's a little bit pink still. So that's what I was back to. And that was so exciting to me. And all I wanted to do was talk about Bedrock Balm right away at that point. But I've had products that work at the start and they seem so promising. In fact, prescriptions to me have worked at the start and seemed really, really promising. And then suddenly it drops off and it doesn't work anymore. Or my skin seems to get frustrated with it. And so I wanted to really give this a test. So this really did get a test. It started off on a flare up, a bad one. And then I went through a month of really great things, but that were very stressful for me in a really good way. I mean, I had a, a point, I have social anxiety disorder, which I've talked about a lot of times, and that is my top trigger. That and then the sun is next. And I'll talk about that in a minute too. But uh, February was a month where I had a lot of really great positive things. I did a lot of things. I decided to focus on self-care again. So I got out and I did a dentist appointment. I did my eye doctor's appointment and I finally got my hair cut again. And I had a photo shoot because of something that I still can't tell you about, but I can't wait. And I will tell you as soon as, as I can, but it was my very first photo shoot with a prote uh, professional photographer who was amazing. And while she made me feel really calm at the time and we had a lot of fun, coming up to it, the, 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 I didn't sleep the, at all the night before. I had about four hours of panic attack before the actual session began and things. And yet my skin stayed calm. And I credit this because I've never had my skin stay calm. And normally I am pasting the green on my face to cover the redness if I have to wear foundation on top, which I did, it was a photo shoot. But uh, I just had this, the bedrock balm on and my skin, as much as inside I was freaking out, my skin outside was staying calm and that felt great. So that's why I'm so excited to share this. And especially now that I've been using this for about a month, I feel confident that this is really, really working for me. And so if your skin reacts to things the same way mine does and not everybody's does, then this is something that could potentially help some of you. Again, I'm not a skincare expert. This isn't me recommending it. This is me saying I'm thrilled with this and I love to share when something actually works out for me. This is a vegan product. It's a cruelty free product. Cruelty free product. It is Leaping Bunny certified. It is gluten free. It's nano free. It's non-toxic. It's made in the United States. It has an excellent list of ingredients and I'm just, I've got a list of them here because they, 
the package that the the balm itself came with or came in came with a whole pile of information and that includes the ingredients so if you would like to see them just hit pause i'm not going to hold this on the screen forever but i'll hold it and get it clear so that you can hit pause i've tried almost every single one of these before in other products and it didn't have any reactions to them um, not in this exact combination, but I've tried them all individually in other areas and I didn't have a problem with them. So I felt pretty confident that my skin was going to be okay with this, although I felt really confident in the last one too, and we all know how that went. But, yep, but Better Rock Balm, the ingredients just seem to love my skin or my skin loves the ingredients. And I'll show you what it looks like. Here's the jar. So this is a teensy little jar. Um, it is, I think, half an ounce. It's 15 milliliters. So I actually thought that I'd receive the sample version instead of the full-size version when I first got this because it is so small. But when I first started using it, I realized why it's this small. It lasts forever. I've been using this for a month and you can see that I am, I am into it. But there's a ton left. This is, I mean, the, the jar goes, it's this deep and I'm only just sort of carving into the top of it. It's quite a solid product in that, I mean, it's not a solid that like it's dusty or something like that, but I just mean it's, it's pretty hard. I'm wondering if it's gonna warm up because it's pretty cold in here because of the winter. So I'm wondering like coconut oil, if it warms up or something like that. And coconut oil is not one of the ingredients. I'm just wondering if it's going to have one of those types of reactions or if it's going to stay, it's like pretty hard and stuff. But I basically, I use my ring finger because it's my weakest finger and I just rub it around in the little jar until I've got a thin layer of it. And then I tap it onto the clean, dry part of my skin that where I want to apply it. And then I just spread it around once it's actually sort of tapped a tiny little bit on because you need so very little of it. And then I do it again on the other side because my rosacea is here. A lot of people have it on their nose and things, but I, I don't. I just have it on the, like this whole area, like right, right around. And so that's where I spread it around. And it's based on zinc oxide. That is the whole, that is the, the, the core to this product. As you saw with the ingredients, it's 22% zinc oxide. And so it does have a slight whitening effect, just like sunscreens based on zinc oxide but it's very, very, because you use so little of it, it's very, very light. I actually like that it has that because it covers a little bit of my permanent redness. So it actually acts a little bit as a cover up on me because my skin is paper white anyway. So I don't mind that it's got a little bit. That said, as soon as I put my moisturizer on because the step goes cleanse and dry, apply Bedrock Balm, and then moisturizer, put your sunscreen on as you normally would. So as soon as I put my moisturizer on after that, it rubs right in and you really can't see the, any whiteness that's left behind kind of pretty much goes away. So um, I actually would prefer that it stayed a little more actually just because I am really like paper white and yeah, I'm like my, I think my skincare color, that my skin foundation color is ghost or something like that. But yeah, so, but um, it does, if you're afraid of using zinc because it leaves whiteness behind, this goes right away as soon as you follow your next step, your, your normal moisturizer, whatever that happens to be. And about the zinc oxide, I think I mentioned earlier in the video and if I didn't mention it, that I was gonna talk about sun protection and things like that, then I meant to, <laughs> but um, this has 22% zinc oxide in it, as I said. One of the claims about what this product can do is not sunscreen, but I suspect that it might have a little bit of a sunscreening effect, and the reason is this, and this is, again, my not scientific, not skincare expert assumption, but all my favorite natural sunscreens, the ones that don't irritate my skin, have zinc oxide as a base. And for example, this one is SPF 30 and it contains 20% zinc oxide. And this one SPF 32 and it contains 25% zinc oxide. And this one, it's a little stick, it's zinc oxide 19% and it's SPF 30. So if this is 22% zinc oxide, I'm thinking it has some sort of sun protection benefits, which makes me feel great because after anxiety and all of the related fun that goes with anxiety, sun is my next biggest trigger. So the fact that I am building in a little bit of sun protection, in my imagination at least, 
that that makes me happy. I, I'll still use sunscreen on top of this, but basically the more protection my face can get from the sun without reacting, the happier I am. <laughs> So, and the fact that my skin has stayed calm all this time, despite the fact that it has been really sunny a lot of the days over the last month, makes me think that this, and I haven't been wearing an extra sunscreen because honestly, I don't, I, wearing a, a coat and a hat with a brim and everything. So like the little bit of extra sun that I can get is, I feel like it's good for my health. So I've been just going for, you know, uh, trying to get like a half hour a day or something. So I'm thinking that this is probably having a benefit on, it's protecting the areas on my face that really need to be protected. Again, that's my imagination. I haven't done any science on this and it's not a part of the claims from Bedrock, the company behind Bedrock Bomb. Interestingly, during the time that I was testing this product, I did get a regular pimple, your average pimple, not a rosacea thing, but like a, a pimple, you get them on your, my face. And the, literature that this comes with it says try try bud rock balm for bug bites bumps or chicken skin cuts and scrapes chapped lips or chafe cold sores itchy bum or diaper rash dry heels or elbows eczema hemorrhoids ingrown hairs jock itch or toe funk razor bumps razor burn and it says rosacea or redness or instead of topicals or steroid cream so it just had this long list of skin ickies and skin uncomfortables and all these different things. So I thought, well, I'm putting this on my face anyway. So I just went boop onto the pimple and it healed up a whole ton by the next day. And then it was pretty like, it just, it healed up super fast. So I don't know if it was just a pimple that naturally wanted to go away on its own, but I want to give credit to this anyway, because I'm so excited about it. Yeah, so anyway, so I did, when I absolutely love, love, love this product, I did actually contact the owner to tell her how much I absolutely love, love, love this product because that's the kind of thing that I do. And I asked if she would be interested in sharing a coupon code with my rosy friends because in case any of you do actually want to try it, then that would be a great uh, opportunity to save. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm not making money by saying any of this. This is all my honest opinion on how this went. I am not affiliated with this company and any links that you click don't, they're not affiliate links. I don't get a percentage of anything, but the owner of the company who is absolutely fantastic. And I hope that I'm saying her name right. Rachel Wernet, Wernet, Renee. I'll put it on the screen so that it's spelled properly and I'm try not trying to be disrespectful because she is so lovely and answered all my questions. But she also jumped on the opportunity to share a 10% discount code with you, Rosie friends. So uh, it is Julie Says. I'm hoping to remember to put that on the screen. If I don't though, it will be in the description below along with a link to the official site for Bedrock. They have Bedrock Bomb and they have one other product. This coupon code will save you 10% off your whole order. This is a company based in the United States. The product itself is $23 US and it lasts so long. Like I think this is probably gonna last me around six months. This is a huge amount, as small as this container may be, which means it's gonna travel really well too, which I'm also very excited about. So this is for six months, $23 in the skincare that I've been using is practically nothing, which is really great. Um, in the US, the shipping is free and to Canada, there's a flat rate shipping of $10. So if you got two of these, then it means you would technically only be spending kind of $5 per jar on shipping and then you'd be set for an entire year. So this, and ordering stuff from the US all the time, $10 is pretty much standard. And I'm gonna be making an order. I'm gonna be using that coupon code. I'm so excited that there was a coupon code because I wanna use it too, but so I think I've covered everything that I wanted to say. I didn't take notes. I was just so excited to finally be doing this video. So I really just sort of gushed into the whole thing and just blabbed on everything that I wanted to say. But I really wanted to tell you about this just because it finally, after so long, I finally have something positive to say about a product that I've tested and to say like, this actually worked for me. I'm so excited to be able to share this with you. Again, this is not a cure for rosacea. That's not the way it's working for me. I don't know if it'll work for you. We all have different triggers. We all have different things that work for us. I just wanted to share what worked for me in case it's something that you want to try as well. Something you want to discuss with your doctor or dermatologist, or you just want to go for it because you know that zinc and these ingredients are good on your skin. So yeah, so it was fantastic to be able to talk about something so positive, especially right now with everything that's going on. 
and I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. That way I'll know and I'll keep making videos like this one. I mean, especially as I find products that I really enjoy. Yeah, so I do hope that you like this video. And if you do want to see more videos that I post and you haven't already, oh, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon to make sure that you're getting alerts every time I upload a new video. And other than that, I will see you next time.